Good morning. I'm so glad you guys are able to join me for today's lesson. Today we are doing module 5, lesson 10. Before we get to our work, uh, please take a moment and say thank you to your friends and family and um, just everyone around you who's helping you with your schoolwork. And today's objective is to build a wreck and wreck um, using 20. So what you'll need for today's materials is loose leaf paper, you'll need something to write with, you'll need your math book, you'll need your number bond chart, and you'll need some sort of material, about 20 pieces of it. Let's move on to our problem set. I'm, I'm sorry, let's move on to our application problem. The application problem states, Ms. G is painting her fingernails. She has painted all the nails on her left hand except for her thumb. How many more does she need to paint? How many does she have left to paint after she paints her left thumb? Draw a picture to help you. Again, Ms. G is painting her fingernails. She has painted all the nails on her left hand except for her thumb. How many more nails does she need to paint? How many does she have left to paint after she paints her thumb? Draw a picture to help you. So at this time you can pause the video and um, draw a picture of the problem set and I will do mine and we'll come back together to see if our answer matches. I drew the picture of uh, her hands and I am going to, and I shaded some of the fingernails gray to show that this is what I have painted and I labeled that I have, she had painted four. Now the first question says, how many more nails does she need to paint? So I count, I labeled all the rest of her nails that are blank. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So she needs to paint six more. So I'm going to write down six for the first question. So for the second question, it says that how many does she have left to paint after she paints her left thumb? So I'm going to pretend to paint it with a red nail polish. And then I'm going to switch color to show that how many does she have left to paint. So since I already painted this, that means I only have this hand to paint. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So that means she has five fingers left to paint, right? So she has only five. So the question to uh, the answer to question number one is six because she didn't paint her left thumb and the answer to question number two is five because she uh, for the second question she painted her left hand i mean left thumb and then whatever is the remaining that's what i wrote in blue blue pen so now let's move on to our problem set or our lesson so for this lesson i need you to take out your math book and please go to pay, uh, problem set 10. please make sure you're in the right book which is module 5 and you're in the right problem set which is module 10. what you will notice for your module 10 is a set of hands and there are small circles underneath a pair of hands so what you will need for this uh, problem set or this lesson is you'll need either to something to write with which is a pencil pen or anything or you can take out any two color of crayons you can take red and blue blue and green um, whichever you prefer so we're going to continue with our application problem uh, in a sense that we're going to uh, continue with the nail polish story so I'm going to paint some of my fingers red Right? I painted some of my fingers red. How many fingers did I paint red? So please show me with your fingers how many fingers do I have painted or did I paint? So I have four fingers that I paint. So I have to make sure how many fingers all my fingers are painted. So 
how many more fingers do I need to paint to get to to make sure all my fingers are painted let's count I need one two three four five six which means I have four painted and I need six more to make sure all my fingers are painted so you can do the same thing with your fingers I mean you can do it with your fingers and you can do it with your um, problem set so let's continue to the next page and the next slide again you will see another pair of hands on your problem set so at this time please watch carefully how many fingers do I have painted red so let's count I have one two three four five six seven I have seven fingernails painted right how many more do I need to paint to make it to make sure that all my fingernails are painted so can please someone show me how many more fingers do I need to get painted that's right I have I need three more because those are the only fingers that doesn't have any paint so I'm going to make sure I have those fingers painted and as you can see seven and three makes ten because we have ten fingers so let's move on to our problem set for the day this problem set for today's as you can see since we already worked with our problem set with our lesson um, for this one I need you guys to especially children with the book all the kids with the book on the top make sure it says lesson 10 homework again it says lesson 10 homework make sure you put the correct date which is 6 slash 17 slash 2020 and make sure you put your name on it so the reason why we're doing the homework page today is we already worked with our problem set in our lesson therefore I have to give you guys homework as the problem set so this is for the children with the math book and without the math book so both of you guys are working with the same um, set of work today what you will need today is it says color the number of fingernails and the beads to match the number bond and show by coloring 10 ones above and some extra ones below to fill out the number bond. So the number bond says 13. And 13 is the two parts of 13 in this case are 10 and 3, right? Because we're only working with 10 ones. The story over here, they already tell you that the clue is all the hands over here or the first part of it you will have 10 ones so I am going to color them red so I have 10 ones right so I'm going to color 10 fingers to make sure I have 10 right because I know 10 and 3 makes 13 on your book it might be a little bit easier for you to color because um, the picture might be a little bit bigger for the children without the math book today I need you guys to draw the hands on each page so what you will need for again we already covered the 10 so now it looks like we only need to cover three so I'm going to put color one finger over here and two fingers on the other side which is I'll just cross out the two one from this side one of the beads and I'm going to color or I'm gonna slash two from this side so I know that one and two and one makes three right so I can have three and ten so I have three and ten if you didn't want to do two and one that's fine you can use just one hand to color all three so what I mean by that is let me show you I can have just three beads right here or to show I have three right here to color 10 and 3 makes 13 so I have 10 over here three in one hand right to make 13 please make sure to do all rest of them by yourself and remember one common thing for each of them will be 10 
because that's what they told us on our instruction already so one of the biggest clue right now i'm giving you guys and the story instruction gave you is 10 because all the numbers are teen numbers which means that 10 is gonna be one of the parts in all of it you have to figure out what is the other part and make sure your fingers are matching the number bond over here so last but not least today i would love to give shout out to all the sanitation worker or um people who collects our trash um because without them our city wouldn't be clean and um even with this pandemic they, they go to work every day to make sure our um trash and our unwanted things gets picked up they make sure our streets are clean and um it's safer for us to walk so please take a moment next time if you come across any sanitation worker please make sure to give them a thank you because they are working whether it's raining whether it's snowing whether it's summer they make sure they collect our um, trash every single day if not every other day um, so make sure you appreciate them for their hard work with that being said I will see you guys tomorrow make sure you make sure you do 30 minutes of ela 30 minutes of math and i ready and submit your work uh, submit your work on time and uh, please make sure to constantly wash your hands and not to touch your face when you go outside and uh, practice social distance i miss you guys and i'll see you tomorrow bye